So VidIQ versus TubeBuddy, which one is actually better in the year 2021? This is the question a lot of people are actually asking because for some reason people think that only one of them is actually better than the other, which is not entirely true. There's one thing that one service is doing better and vice versa as well. And here I want to give you the breakdown of the services to give you an actual understanding which one is better for certain things and which one is not. And I want you to give you the perspective of actual user of both of these tools, the paid version of this tool, not just someone who's trying to market the tool to you. So without further ado, let's just get it started. But first, okay, both of those tools actually started as the same tool, which is the YouTube Keyword Inspector. But in time, they developed other tools as well, which increased their overall value. If you want really short, straight to the point answer well here it is vidiq is better youtube keyword research tool and tubebuddy is better overall youtube management tool so let's break this down why vidiq is better keyword research tool which is the main core feature of both of these services because vidiq is actually giving you all the relevant information in a very fast very intuitive interface which allows you to branch out to the related keywords as quickly as possible without any hassle just giving you all the information you need and nothing else while tubebuddy does same things as well it is giving it to you in very dated and very slow and laggy interface which is less easy to understand it in no means bad but it's just dated and vidiq is just doing it better but again it might be the personal preference as well and because of this if you compare the research time of both of these tools vidiq and tubebuddy you will quickly find out that you're finding all the relevant keywords for your videos much quicker in vidiq than you're doing it in tubebuddy so for the keyword research i'm giving vidiq a win but what about everything else oh there tubebuddy is undeniably a winner because the amount of tools that tubebuddy is giving to you if you're not count the keywords is simply stunning. You're getting comment management tools, you're getting bulk editing tools, which is the best in an industry. You are getting demonetization checks. You are getting a bunch of other smaller tools, or promo materials for higher tiers. You are getting even AB checks for your thumbnails and titles and much, much, much more. Overall, if you work on your YouTube channel quite a lot and if you're treating it like a business, TubeBuddy will save you much more time in work than VidIQ does. So here, where TubeBuddy wins and VidIQ loses. Okay, another thing that I want to compare these two tools with each other is their mobile apps. Because you might not be uploading from a PC and you want your great mobile usage experience from your phone. And here, where VidIQ simply wipes the floor with the TubeBuddy because it's practically the same keyword inspector tool on a mobile that is on your computer. Yes, there are limitations with an interface because it's not showing you all the information that you need at the same time and yes i have some gripes with the vidiq app as well but compared to tubebuddy it's a fantastic app because tubebuddy just does not work all the time it lags constantly it is very slow it's not giving you all the relevant information sometimes even if you, if you have a license it's not showing you that you have a license me therefore limiting you from the entire usage of an app and it's just basically a chrome extension shoved into an app it works bad on android it works bad on ios doesn't matter what operating system that you use it's slow and laggy and dated in chrome so basically no Yes, when it works, it gives you the information about keywords and it's a normal keyword research tool when it works. But it's slow, it's sluggish, it does not give you enough information to make it worth it. Compared to the capabilities of the TubeBuddy on a computer, mobile app is simply a check mark or a joke. Okay, let's draw the conclusions to help you to choose the one between VidIQ and a TubeBuddy. And the pricing will play the big role here, which I didn't talk about, which I will right now. VidIQ has three tiers. It's free tier, it's pro tier, which costs $10 a month, and it's boost tier, which costs $50 a month. TubeBuddy has four tiers, free tier, which is free, it's pro tier, which costs $10 a month, or four and a half dollars if you are less than 1000 subscriber channel, $20 for the starter license, and $50 for the legend license, which gives you an access to all the tools on a TubeBuddy. So which one is for you? If you have a channel that is smaller than 1000 subscribers, or rather the channel that has smaller than 10,000 subscribers, Keyword research is the most important tool for you. So we have the channel with less than 1000 subscribers and a limited budget, TubeBuddy Pro 
with the half price off is simply the best bet for you if you can tolerate the dated interface and slow and sluggish work of the tool. But as soon as you will hit 1000 subscribers, when the price for TubeBuddy will rise to $10, vidIQ is a better tool for you. At least until 10,000 subscribers. Because keyword research tool, which is most important for you at the moment, is far better on vidIQ and paying the same price for TubeBuddy is simply not worth it. If you feel like you can pay $10 for vidIQ before 1000 subscribers, it's all up to you, but paying the double price for the same tool just for a little bit more convenience of an interface, I guess it may be worth it for you, but I wouldn't recommend it. As for the 10,000 subscriber plus, you will probably have a bunch of videos that you want to bulk edit. And here, TubeBuddy Star License, which is $20 license, will be the best bet for you. Again, even at this moment, I still would recommend to use vidIQ Pro License alongside with it because keyword research is simply better there. Plus, at this point, you will probably make enough money to justify 10 plus dollar payment. If not, then by all means, use only TubeBuddy Star License. And if you have 50,000 subscribers and more, and if you feel like you need more research tools like A-B testing, maybe like click magnets and things like that, then you can safely go to the TubeBuddy Legend or maybe try it for TubeBuddy Legend because it costs $50 a month and just see whether it's worth it for you or not. And probably it will because for that level, every single small detail actually matters. As for the vidIQ Boost, as a separate subscription, I don't recommend it at any levels because it's not worth it. Even though you are going to get a lot of additional functionalities in your keyword inspector on your vidIQ, the Boost is simply overpricing the Pro. So no, don't go for vidIQ Boost as a separate. If you have a bigger channel, I mean like 50,000 and more and generate at least $1,000 a month, and if you already have a TubeBuddy Legend and maybe you want more from your keyword inspector, only after that you can consider buying vidIQ Boost, alongside with the TubeBuddy Legend of course. That's what I think overall about those tools. They're both great in its own matter and they can be better and they must be better if they want to compete for at least for our hearts or our wallets. Well, again, all the links will be in the description down below. If you want to get them both, you can start for free. And even if you're getting these tools for free, you're actually helping this channel, even if you're not paying anything. Well, this will be it for today. Thank you for being here with me. Let me know what you think about both of those tools. Do you think one is better than the other? And if you do, let me know why. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you like this, subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.